we have our character facing in the direction that we're moving in, and we've also got them being able to fire a projectile in the direction that they're facing. So let's actually give them a world to move around in and explore. The category for that is scene. Scene is where we're talking about our screen, our backgrounds, etc. If we scroll down, we've got one here called Set Tile Map 2. And this is where we actually draw and design the level that we're on. So if we click on it, it looks just like when we want to draw our sprite. We have here on the left hand side our drawing tools. We've got a pencil, we've got an eraser, we can draw a box. And then we've also got some categories here for some already drawn tiles, much like how we have a gallery option for our sprites. We've got some forest themes, aquatic theme, a dungeon theme. I'm going to click on miscellaneous and show you that in here there's one that looks like a brick. But you can look through these and pick what you want the particular tile to look like. I'm going to draw some walls or something that represents a room. So I'm going to pick the brick. And I can use the pencil tool to draw. I can undo any mistakes by pushing the undo button and I can click the box or the rectangle tool to draw a box which I'll just do for you now. Let's say that this level is just a little room like this and we go done. That's now represented in our game here and we can move around, we're still facing our direction and we disappear off the screen, something that we notice. And you can actually just walk through our wall, which is another thing that we've noticed and we have to fix. So our tile map can contain information for the picture or the image that is representing the tile and whether or not it's a wall. So when we click on our tile editor, we have all of our drawing tools here on the left hand side. The one that looks like a Lego block here is called Draw Walls. And we're going to click on that. And then we can still use our same drawing tools. We can use our pencil. We can still undo. We're going to use our rectangle tool and draw over our brick walls with our wall tool. And now they're highlighted in red. So these representations of brick here as tiles have been told by game by Make Code Arcade, that these are a wall. What impact does that have when we play? We're going to start in our room here. We can still go off screen. And now we're stuck. These are acting like the walls that they look like. But how do we fix this issue? Where I'm walking around the room, but I'm disappearing off the screen. I drew this room and I knew it's much bigger than this, but I can't see the rest of it. And that's because our camera is not moving with us. When we play video games, we're always following our character around. And one way to think about that, actually, is when you're playing a video game, you can think about you having your own little film crew behind you, and they're actually filming you as you run around playing your game, jumping around, exploring the world. And if you think about it as a film crew and somebody with a camera, then it makes sense that the term in game making and the term in coding is camera. And we can find that under scene. This is where we deal with our screen and our backgrounds like we said. But if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can actually also deal with our camera. And there's one here, very important, it says camera follow sprite. We want the cameraman in this game to follow us, the character around. So this is the perfect block for us. We'll put it in here, and what sprite do we want it to follow? Well, our main player sprite, which in this game has the name Princess. And now we can see what this does to our game. When I'm moving around, it does its very best to make sure that I stay in the middle of the screen and that the world kind of moves around me. So we're walking around our dungeon here with our walls, and we can't escape because they're walls and then we move up, the camera's going to follow us and it's going to track our progress regardless of how big we make our level.